Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam. In today's video, we're going to do another electricity and magnetism problem, specifically under part B, DC circuit analysis. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, now, before we go ahead and get started, I just want to let you guys know that last week we did post electricity problem. So make sure that you guys check it out so you can find it here. And in that problem, we actually applied Ohm's law and then also KVL to solve for the current. It's very important for the FE exam. So make sure that you guys check it out. So here guys, we are giving this circuit and we want to determine the equivalent resistance. So a lot of times when we have resistors that are in parallel and in series, we want to determine the equivalent resistance. Okay, so now if we go to the reference handbook and their electrical and computer engineering, here you guys are giving the equations for resistors in series and in parallel. Okay, so you're going to use these equations. Now, the only thing here is first you have to determine which resistors are in parallel and which resistors are in series okay so why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video give this problem a try so make sure that you guys when you are solving these problems make sure that you guys are always attempting these problems on your own and then you can come back to check your solution so i'll see you guys in a little bit Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to determine which resistors are in parallel and which resistors are in series, okay? So as you guys can see, these resistors, all these three resistors are in parallel, okay? And so we're going to find the equivalence resistance for these three resistors, okay? And then that resistor is going to be in series with the five. And I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Let's first find the equivalent resistance for these three resistors, okay? So here we said they're in parallel. So we're going to do RP is going to be equal to one over one over R1. So let's say this is R1, this is R2, this is R3, okay? Although they're all the same, they're equal. So we're going to do one over 15 plus 1 over 15, okay, plus 1 over 15. And I grabbed this equation here, guys, from the reference manual. So let me show you guys the equation on there because we do have two equations for when resistors are in parallel. So we have this equation here and then we have this equation. So the second equation, we use it when we have only two resistors, okay? So it's kind of like simplified version of this equation, but we can only apply it if we have two resistors. If we have more than two, then we use the first equ equation okay so this is the one we're using right now now if you guys plug these numbers in your calculator you're going to get 1 over 0 0.2 which is going to give you 5. now 5 this 5 here is going to be in series with this 5 okay so let me go ahead and, and draw it so that ways you guys can see so what we're going to do here is we're going to replace these three resistors with this resistor right so let's go ahead and draw it and then also by the way guys so one of the students commented in one of our youtube videos mentioning if we have a pdf file of all the fe problems that we share in our youtube channel okay and we're actually currently working on it so prinita is right now putting all those problems together with the solution and also the youtube link in case you guys want to check the whole video where i solve the problem so if you guys are interested in that pdf go ahead and comment below and um, and we'll go ahead and send it to you once it's ready okay now, so here, note guys, what I did is I replaced these three resistors with this resistor, okay? This is the RP, this is the resistor that we solved here, okay? And now, as you guys can see, these two resistors are in series. And now we're going to apply the series equation, okay? So we're going to do R equivalent is going to be equal to just 5 plus 5. So now if we go back to the reference handbook and take a look at the series equation, so Rs is just equal to R1 plus R2 and so on and so forth. So we just add the resistors. It's pretty simple. So we're going to do 5 plus 5 and that's going to give us 10. Okay, so now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B. Okay, so this is how we usually determine the equivalent resistance. Now, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, please share our channel with your friends. It really helps the channel out immensely. And then the other thing I would recommend that you guys do is make sure you, you guys uh, write these steps, how to tackle these problems okay so one thing i do recommend that you guys always do when you're trying to determine the equivalent resistance is always start from here okay start from here and then see oh if the resistors are in parallel or in series apply the equation and then 
replace it with the resistor like we did here redraw it right and then just keep going until you get two at the end and then you can determine the equivalent resistance because when you have a lot of resistors it can get complex okay this is very important by the way guys for the fe exam now um, the other thing I would like to share with you guys here is our cheat sheet. So we have a cheat sheet that covers a lot of important equations and concepts. So make sure that you guys download it here and um, and we'll go ahead and send it to your email. Now, if you don't get it for whatever reason, you can just email us and we'll send it to you. And one last thing, make sure that you guys check out our courses. So if you are enjoying our FE problems that we're sharing here. So lately we have been posting a lot of problems for FE mechanical and FE other disciplines. So if you guys are enjoying these problems and they're helping you and you are looking for a course that's going to help, really help you pass your FE exam, make sure to check out our course. It's really helping a lot of students pass the FE exam. We cover a lot of problems, a lot of concepts, and it's up to date. Um, it's to the new fe exam okay so make sure that you guys check it out we did launch the fe mechanical and we are planning to launch the fe other discipline soon so if you guys are interested in that course you can sign up here and we'll um, update you once we launch the course now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and before you go make sure that you guys check out this playlist here where we cover a lot of fe problems that's going to help you guys pass your fe exam now thank you guys for watching have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine. Oh, yeah.